one of the things I do is I work in the ideas industry, and there's a lot of people in this industry who just come up with ideas on occasions. But very, very infrequently you find someone who comes up with an idea that really cuts through the, all the hundreds of other ideas. That's the first thing. And the second thing is there are ideas which can be accomplished. Because everyone can have an idea, but actually pulling it off is a much bigger task. And John Dwyer, in the few times that I've worked with him, I found quite extraordinary in his ability just to cut through and find out what was really going to work. And secondly, is to be able to pull it off, you know, to put it into some sort of shape where people actually can put it into play. One of the things you discover about ideas is most of them tend to be very, very expensive. And in advertising, for example, to get a good idea and to be able to pull it off can cost you many hundreds of thousands of dollars. And the beauty of John Dwyer as far as I can see, is that he can do these things in a very, very cheap and affordable way. And for me, or an individual to come in off the street and be able to get something that will work for me in a really short time for just a few hundred dollars or a couple of thousand dollars, I think is extraordinary. The beauty of what John Dwyer is doing is that he's enabling people, everyday people, you know, who just run small businesses, to be able to afford really good ideas. I've been working with creative people now for longer than I care to remember. And the thing that really defines them is they come up with lots of ideas. Most of them are really, really expensive. But the ideas tend to be few and far between. So if someone comes up with a really good idea, the next one they're going to come up with will be three months' time. And the extraordinary thing that I find about John Dwyer is that one, his ideas are very, very approachable and achievable. And two, they keep coming. So he has this sort of innate ability or skill somewhere along the track where you can just keep the ideas flowing. And for me, if I was spending my money, that's the sort of person I would like to have working for me. And you would think that if someone comes up with a, an idea for a, um, a furniture company, that it wouldn't work in an accountancy firm or a hairdresser's. The thing that I've noticed is that his ideas or the way he has about working and coming up with sort of creative um, attention-getting devices is they work across all sorts of industries, and I think that is a very, very rare skill.